We are just about a month away when the world's political leaders will meet in Rio, Rio 2012. This is 20 years since in 1992, 160 leaders of the world met in Rio de Janeiro and we set up Agenda 21 as the pathway to sustainable development for the world. 20 years hence, today in 2012, where is the world? The world is on the brink. It is more vulnerable socially, economically and environmentally than it's been in the past. And the challenge before the world community is that we must find a pathway with a time horizon of no more than 20 to a maximum of 40 years hence that the world is brought on a sustainable development path. If we fail, it will be too late. And an example of this is in 1992, climate change appeared to be a distant possibility. And the convention was set up to try and implement uh, a procedure, a partnership of the world's nations to confront climate change. Well, we haven't made much progress. And today, climate impacts extreme events and droughts, the increasing frequency around the world, affecting both developing and developed countries is with us. Just in the last six months, We've had Somalia, we've had Thailand with its floods, we have had the United States with the drought, we have had hurricanes. So the increasing frequency is causing millions, billions of dollars of damage, not to speak of the loss of life and the tremendous human suffering. What does the world need? We need to develop all the resources of the information systems that we can put together to specially, and remember, again, 20, 30 years ago, we were thinking of nation states and what policy at the national level. Today, we realize that policies and plans and actions must be at the local level. And it is at the local level, level that we need to confront sustainable development. And for this purpose, we need a special 3D representation map of local regions as well as the global world and if we could take an example of such a, a map 3d map which gives us the infrastructure where the populations are where are the vegetation where are the sensitive areas where are the water bodies and such a map combined with weather prediction weather prediction technology exists we already have seven or eight systems around the world which predict weather short term medium term and even long term Integrating the weather system with the 3D representation of the world with special dimension will give us the capability to analyze what are the potential impacts that can occur. And the potential impacts need to be translated into the consequences and the cost of inaction. Based on this, if we now have a technology to modify, to confront the weather system, for example, bringing rain where there is going to be a drought or diverting rain where there is going to be an extreme event. This technology exists. Aquias has developed this technology and has applied it over the last 10 years in various parts of the world and the latest applications were in August this year when the drought in Somalia was broken. We promised the United Nations on 18th August at the FAO summit on Somalia that in 45 days we will bring rain. On 26 September the rain arrived and the rainy season was extended way into January. Another example is as we speak, Texas has been suffering for many seasons of drought and this drought is being broken this week and the progress indicates that the rains are arriving and, and uh, agriculture can begin to work. So this technology, combined with weather prediction, combined with representation of the world, offers us the possibility to respond and reduce the damages by extreme events, 
and caused by climate change and which looking ahead in the next 20 to 40 years is perhaps the greatest challenge we face. This requires a global partnership of actions, not agenda. And it is time that in Rio 2012, the nations of the world come together and put into place actions because we do not have any more time for agendas. The next two decades and maximum of four decades is the only window we have for the young generation of today, college students and young scientists on whose shoulders we have put this challenge and the world cannot, must not fail.